1972, Renault launched the Renault 5, and since then they've had 9 million sales, and today we're looking at the all-electric Renault 5. Lots has changed, and they don't want it to be a vintage hark back, but they do want to have a nod to the original that was actually there. We've got the new Renault badging on the front, comes in five different colours, white, black, blue, yellow, which is going to be the Heller car, but being Irish, this sparkly green is my favourite. You've got these nice personalised, I'm not sure what the word is for when something reminds you of a human face, jump into the comments and let me know. But you, the, when the car is activated, it actually winks at you. And when you lock it, it cl closes its eyes and all that kind of stuff. So you've got that up here. Then harken back to the original Renault 5, you've got these daytime running lights in that square formation as well. Totally different front in it, something totally different as well. I really, really like it. I like the look on the road and it's not an SUV. This platform is based on the Ampere small platform. Originally it was the CMF BEV platform, but this is the first of the Renault group. And it's also going to be the same as the Renault 4 and the, Renault, and the Nissan Micra are going to be all on that Ampere small platform. If you remember the old original Renault 5, there was a grille up in the bonnet, but now what we have is an indicator with five different sections that lights up as you walk towards the actual car to let you know, do you know what? I don't have time to look at the app. I don't have to look at the dashboard. It's going to tell you the state of the health on that battery. Gorgeous color. Moving down along the side, comes in three different trims and all trims are going to get 18 inch wheels. These are the techno wheels. Um, it's great that you've got that same size wheel across all different trims. That just shows you that the design is a top of mind for Renault. They want it to look right because sometimes smaller wheels makes it doesn't look great. Short overhangs front and rear. Length of the vehicle is 3.92 meters. It's 15 centimeters shorter than a Renault Clio on the outside. Wheelbase is 2.54 and it's only four centimeters shorter than a Clio on the inside. That just shows you by pushing those wheels out towards the edge, you're getting a lot more space inside. It's a front wheel drive motor and you're gonna have three different options. You're gonna have a 70 kilowatt, a 90 kilowatt and a 110 kilowatt motor. Really lightweight motor, only 20 kgs. Charging is going to be on the front left hand side, AC up to 11 kilowatt as standard and then DC depending on whether you go for the smaller or bigger battery, you're going to have 80 kilowatt on DC fast charging or 100 kilowatt on DC fast charging. The two battery sizes, one is going to be a 40 kilowatt and that's going to give you a WLTP of 300 kilometers and then you're going to have a 52 kilowatt which is going to give you 400 kilometers WLTP. So we're starting to get more affordable smaller EVs at a more affordable price for everybody. We don't want SUVs all the time. And so it's gonna be good for urban, but it's also gonna be good for that longer distance. Moving up along the side, you can see some of the decals on it, and that will depend on the trim level that you go for, and you can really personalize your Renault 5. So you can see the trapezoid shape here over the wheel arch. So they're talking about this rounded square design language. So you have that SUV wheel arch protector, really it's for city driving, and you can see the crease there over the wheel arch, and it's really defined by that decal on the side. Those decals can be on the roof as well. You've got some nice styling down along the side. Starting to remind me of that Renault Megane. And on the middle and upper level trim, you're gonna get this brushed red line, the gutter line that they used to have in the Renault 5. That continues down along the spoiler, but we're gonna have a look at that. You're gonna have the option of that in red or also that kind of a brushed gold that we would have seen in the Renault Megane. Large gloss black with an indicator built in and retractable on that wing mirror, beautiful. Uh, Sai, height-wise, it's 1.5 meters high. You've got the door oh, handles. This car is very similar to the actual concept that we saw in 2021. Um, we'll talk about the inside when we get around to it. But you can see the door handle for the rears up on the side. Would have seen that in the Renault Zoe. And then that roof line comes all the way along the back. And again, very remind remissing of reminding me of the Renault 5 Turbo. Shark fin area at the top. You've got your highlight, high level brake lamp, a window wiper, which is always great to see. On the back, we don't have any Renault badging. We just have the name written out in the word and the Renault 5 sign there. Beautiful looking. You can also see this 3D effect on that rear taillight, vertical with the horizontal stripes, but you can see it actually breaks that wind. It's all about the aerodynamics. You're gaining six kilometers because of that taillight. You're gaining eight kilometers because of the spoiler. And with those aero wheels, you're gaining another eight kilometers. Boot, manual, as you'd expect on an entry-level BEV, 326 litres, and there's even a little subfloor in underneath. You can see it there, 60-40 split. Overall, the styling of it, it's really iconic on the road. I think the lighting is phenomenal. I think these colours, and they call them the pop colours because of that yellow and green. They didn't go for something safe, but there are whites, 
blacks and reds but with the styling with the decals i think it's really nice jump into the comments and let me know what you think let's have a look on the inside inside the renault 5 you've got the very similar steering wheel that we had in the renault megane you've got your light stocks on the left hand side and on the right hand side then you've got like a little lipstick you can identify you can actually personalize this you've got your wipers and then underneath you've got the stock for the audio overall flat top flat bottom nice you've got three different interiors this is the techno trim so you can see it's got stitched fabric very denim -y feel you've got a pattern on the roof you've got some physical switches down here for climate control and then you've got some nice lighting elements around the actual vents that remind you of the daytime running lights Internally, it's Google built in like we had on the Renault Megane. Great to see it. Uh, and you also have this new AI assistant called Reno, R-E-N-O, and he's connected, or she, is connected to ChatGBT. So it won't be just your standard stuff, but you can also ask them more contextual, where you want to drive, what you want to go for. It'll also make some suggestions inside of it. You've got some electronic handbrake. You've got your wireless charging pad. You've got reach and rake. You don't have a head-up display, but again, in this, this type of vehicle, what are you really looking for? Prices in Europe, we're looking at around 25,000 euros. Not sure what we're going to get in Ireland with our double taxation system, but I like it. It's not trying to be something that I can't afford to be, but the seats are nicely upholstered. There's a really nice bolster in them as well. And it's got this kind of H design. Overall, a nice place to be. I'm six foot two, 188 centimeters. With it being a hatch and not having the height of an SUV, let's have a seat in the back and see if I can fit in. With an electric car, with it being an SUV, you definitely have that height advantage. So in the back here, I'm six foot two, 188 centimeters. My knees are just squeezing in. They say it's a five seater. For four of me, it would be enough. And the fact that the seat is lowered down, it's finding it difficult to get the seats in underneath. So it is a compact car, unfortunately. I could move that seat forward a small bit and I would get in, don't get me wrong. But in the back here, you've got two isofix. You've got a completely flat floor, no USB, no venting. It's, there's not a lot else going on in the back of the Renault 5. But overall, do you know what? It's a nice place to be. Let's have someone look at some of the accessories and some of the trim levels that you can get with the car. With the Renault 5, there are a couple of different trim levels internally and externally. So you can see with the color you've got here, you can have that denim and the French flag built into it. And you've got some 3D printed with some squares going on. So that's the green version and then you've got the blue and you can see more of that denim stitching going on and that in the headliner you can actually see what it looks like it's kind of like that quilted effect nice and then the iconic headline which is it comes in the four different colors doesn't come in green because a lot of yellow going on and yellow and green is a bit clashy but you can see it's got the five in the fabric you can see you've got some of this in the stitching in the seat as well and you can see the two different colors you can get on that gutter line that along the top of the roof one thing that you can also get is some accessories and this is something that's going to be able to be getting and if you know what this is jump into the comments this is able to sit into your car and if there's a lot of different things that you could do with this but it's actually a baguette holder we said in the uk and ireland it should be an umbrella holder and the last accessory i want to talk about today is the little gear selector that you can change with the five if you want the french flag and you can slip these over or what the five but there's five different types very much like a lipstick Hopefully you've enjoyed my first look around the outside and the inside of the Renault 5. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Hit the like button, leave a comment and let me know what you think. And remember, if you think an EV is for you, leave it to me and I'll review. Thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed that video, you might enjoy that video too.